नमस्ते जय हिंद लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस इज द टाइम व्हेन वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द टेंपल फॉर राम लला सो राम इज इन द ईथर बट मेनी से भारत के तो रोम रोम में रग रग में आत्मा में राम है सो एवरीबॉडी नोज द स्टोरी ऑफ राम और द एंटायर एस्पेक्ट और द स्टोरी ऑफ रामायण हाउ एवर हु इज द स्टोरी टेलर सो हियर इज अनदर बुक व्हिच इज अगेन अबाउट रामायण बट इन दिस वन it says it's about family and life and the author shantanu gupta is with me he's a busy man he's been uh, doing a lot of literary work and he's also been trying to roam around the world pushing a certain level of uh, academic understanding of bharat and more importantly focused on uttar pradesh ab up mein ram bhi hai up mein yogi ji bhi hai aap dono ki baat kar rahe hain shantanu exactly. so good to have you with us and good to but uh, what's different compared to every other storyteller who's mm-hmm. told the story of ram including amish who's done it yes. uh, amish tripathi so from centuries ago to now yeah. everybody has said the story of ram yeah. how is this different let me start there uh, anand thank you for having me and jai sri ram to all your viewers uh, so i call it teachings from the ramayana on family and life mm. right and as you rightly said centuries old and the, still there is dispute on the dating of ramayana from dr nilesh oak to dk hari they have put different dates for ramayana 7000 years to 14000 years mm. so when valmiki ji wrote it he wrote in 24000 shlokas mm. from balkan to yuddhakand mm. right that's why it's called the adi kavya it's the called the biggest ever poem ever written right and then the mahabharata face. is even bigger than that right yeah. but yeah it was the oldest yeah. uh, biggest no, poem no mahabharata is lesser it's 18000 verses if you the remember original, the original yeah, original the original you're right yeah mm. yeah that's why i keep calling anand this one of the <laughs> best read <laughs> tv person right mm. uh, so he wrote in 24000 shlokas and I do a calculation with a lot of my participants in my Ramayana workshop. Even if you spend one hour a day, hmm. right, and read ten shlokas with shloka in the meaning, it will take you almost twenty-four hundred days, right, hmm. which is almost six seven years. If you do three sixty-five days, right, yeah, if you read ten no, shlokas every day, every yeah, day ten shlokas every day, it will take you seven years to just and one hour a day is like quite a discipline, correct. right, in itself, correct. right, three sixty-five days without any holiday. So meaning, if you take some holidays, it's almost like eight to ten years of effort. So if you start with your kids at the age of ten, by the time they're in college, they will be they'll complete whole Valmiki Ramayana, hmm. which many people may not be able to do. In fact, I have this submission that if uh, Ramanand Sagar might not have made the Ramayana, many of us not might be not the story, hmm. let alone the philosophy of Ramayana. Hmm. So what I did in last six seven years while homeschooling my own kids. I read the whole Ramayana, the Valmiki Ramayana, and the various tikas and various commentaries of Ramayana from Sir Raj Gopali, Sir uh, Sir Raja Ji, uh, to be big Devraj. Raj Gopal Acharya to be big Devraj. Uh, so he is actually who, written on the cover also. He, he, he gave me a cover testimonial. He liked yeah. the uh, content, and I abridged the whole 24,000 shlokas into 25. case studies chronological though from yeah. balkan to yuddhakand from mm. the birth of rama to the demise of ravana and can this case studies this conversation between two characters mm. sometimes ram and lakshman sometimes is ram and bharat sometimes is jatayu and ravan sometimes is ravan and ram various conversations can they bring out a life lesson for parenting for family mm. right and can i can i make ramayana travel to the breakfast table to the dinner table mm. right there is murari babu katha that's happening there is a clientele for that but lot of the millennials millennials may not go go there right hmm. i'm not demising that that's that's amazing but can i bring this conversation to the dinner table every dinner table and they debate discuss their fi- family problem their discussions their highs and lows in the context of ramayana that's my attempt hmm. so a uh, lot of this in terms of there is no story that is not there in the mahabharat exactly. but there is no story that is in the mahabharat that is not outside the, there right. is a exactly. saying about That's the, the mahabharat they say exactly. but you are saying that with ramayan also there are a lot of life lessons life and we lessons. can learn it yeah. uh, interesting that you said that this is not just that every sambad has ram in it exactly uh, every conversation can be between multiple people multiple, so correct. one of the conversations which we generally know of is the conversation ram urged lakshman to have with ravan because yeah. he says he's a vidwan so a learn vidwan life lessons from him yeah. but uh, i saw in this an interesting one where you say taraka had a conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. who was that conversation with and how is that connected to the bhagavad gita or the gita sambha yeah so that's very interesting so uh, the first guru of uh, bhagwan shri ram when he was a teenager uh, for all the four brothers was rishi vashishtha right? Vashisht. that was like a classroom training hmm. and then they graduated to the second teacher rishi vishwamitra like a on job training on the mm. field right mm. earlier they were putting arrow to the target now they are real en- a real enemy and the real enemy was talka marich subahu yeah. talka was the first real enemy shri ram faced like in life Correct. and he was only 16 mm. in fact ramayana says 
he is not even 16 so yeah. he must be 15 then yeah. right he must be 15 16 mean a teenager right yeah. and vishwamitra ji says here's talka in dandakarande must be today's chatisgarh or maybe bundelkhand region of uttar yeah, that region there is still a dandakarande there, there, there. there is still yeah, dandakarande that course, region yeah. talka like a ferocious demon standing in front vishwamitra is saying shoot this shoot her right he takes the sharpest of the arrow stretches his heart and when he's about to launch it he get like a arjuna like vishada Like, hmm. Oh, like Arjuna said, he my, they are my kith and kin, so I cannot kill them, and that happened Gita. Hmm. And in, but in this case, it was a little different. Vishwamitra said, if you think for a long time, she will not leave you. Right? Hmm. If you don't kill her, she will kill you. Yeah. Right? So, so that's what a soldier is said. No, that you cannot have a doubt on the trigger because you exactly. don't pull it, the other one is pulling you. People say, right? You can have a quick cop or a dead cop. Dead right? cop. You can't correct. keep thinking. Keep you can't thinking. keep thinking. Correct. So he said, you can have a quick. We can have a quick chat, but we can't wait for long. He said, no, no, no. My my guru told that you can't hurt a woman. Can you imagine the yeah. the height of morality when mm. the it's a it's it's a, it's, a, it's a matter of life and death. So yeah, and, and this moral compass. Uh, uh, so this is the teaching that has come from Sage Vashish. Sage Vashish, that keep that you are not going to uh, hurt a woman, mess with a woman. woman. Uh, the, uh. How how respectful you have to be woman. Mm. And Vishwam is saying, oh, this boy is right. This is this is what I teach teach to my disciples. But he says that in this case, we have to see what is the larger dharma. Right, which normal Krishna Krishna yeah. narrates. Right, what yeah. is the larger dharma? So that's the beauty of Indian scriptures. They are not between good and bad. They are between like one good versus another good. Two goods are competing. Two dharmas are competing. He says she is only in the body of the woman. She doesn't have the daya, karuna, mamta that we associate a woman with. She kills children. She kills men. She kills women. She destroys puja. She kills rishis. So in the larger dharma is okay to eliminate her. And then. he hmm. it takes azar one limit sir but the so, point so, is so that conversation then becomes the dharma as you're seeing it as a physical manifestation of the body exactly or was the mechanism within that is controlling the body what kind of dharma is that entity which is inside residing the body of a woman following Be- beautifully said beautifully yeah, said so but the interesting part what i feel a 15 16 years old is learning a le- he learned a lesson and using it whenever even when the life and death is in front of uh, him hmm. right he's his moral compass is on even when there's a huge crisis yeah i think we normally say okay i will follow all the traffic rules on a good day but if i'm missing my flight i'll break all the f- hmm. because and i'll justify to myself also oh my come on yeah today is my i'm missing my flight i can hmm. like miss some Uh, See, traffic uh, one line, of right? the commonalities between uh, the Bhagavad Gita or the time yeah. of the Mahabharat, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. we'd say one yuga before, one yuga Ram, before, uh, or one yuga Dwapar. after, one yeah, yuga, one yuga, after. Dwapar one yuga Dwapar after, after uh, Ram, is the fact that this messaging, despite both Ram and Krishna being very different very in their different. personality, in their like, thing, exactly. is that an atatai has to be. Uh, attacked or punished, a punished attacked, invader. Punished. There is no mercy for an There's invader, no for and there are some four or five rules which very clearly say that somebody who takes something which is not theirs, exactly. you have to get it back. Yeah. And somebody who commits a dharma has to be then seen from that compass of dharma exactly. and a dharma at that level, Beautiful not said. from Beautiful who said. they are. So the, these aspects then tend to uh, remain. So how did you think about? Crosswords. It's just amazing, and, and so you've, you've, you've tried to make you it into that. You, you've tried so to make it make it into a case study also. This yeah. Ayodhya Kanda crossword is an interesting one. Yeah. Kill the Ravan within you. Exactly. You you want you to exactly. you want them exactly. to write. So what you've done is one is try to modernize it a bit while keeping exactly. the original ethos. Yeah. But how did this happen? So uh, as I told you, Aaron, because this becomes very interesting. Now, what did you learn from this? It's like revision exactly. karao. By the time you you made somebody read a whole chapter and say, "Acha revision." See, I write want I want all my readers of this book become storytellers uh, themselves, right? And they will become storytellers when they know all the names, all the places, all the context, right? Hmm. So just to revise, uh, can I? I could have added a like small quiz, but I think crossword is a good tool. So after every kant, from bal kant to yudh kant, after every kant, all the six kants, I added a crossword puzzle so that they can revise their all the names, all the places, all the mm. phenomena. That's so, how so it happened. So who helped you put this together? I think me and my son. Right. Ah. So my son is Abiram, ten year old. I'm homeschooling him. And in fact, because of him, I started learning Ramayana in this depth around five, six years back. Mm. And I think this is I see what attracts him when he he does his Captain Americas and Spider Mans and. I'll see how he get engages in those websites. There are a lot of they gamified. So I thought, can I gamify? Hmm. As you said, keeping the soul of the Ramayana, Valmiki Ramayana intact. Can I use modern learning tools? So that's how the crossword puzzle. And a lot of reflection exercises happened here in the book. Hmm. Yeah. So and there there are some lessons. So each one there is a guidance for the family. Exactly. So so exactly. this is this is one part which you've taken taken a family scenario. So so, ha- so what do you do? So you 
talk about the story yeah. based on the each each conduct. Exactly. Exactly. And then you create a uh, a family situation, family a situation. family situation, huh. which is very normal, right? Say you are with your huh. son, you you do a small accident. How huh. will you behave, right? Huh. So I'm just picking up a random page. I just okay. I had read this page 48 teachings 40, from the 48? Ramana. 48. Yeah, negative company can bring you bad reputation. Okay. So that, that's what this says. So this is around the Ayodhya Kanda only. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you're saying, achha, then you create a case study. So I this is the study. MBA learning. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <So> <laughs> this is my Excel right. This XLR, is my Excel right. Days, yeah. <laughs> So, so you shifted to a new city, Pune, because of your new job. Your son not so happy with this move, and as he had to leave his society friends and school friends in Delhi, initial months are a little rough for him. Then he started making friends, but his behavior has become a little different from his days in Delhi. He now mm -hmm. spends long hours online gaming, uses foul words, and mm -hmm. lies frequently. One day his teacher calls you as a parent, warns you that your child seems to have fallen in bad company, quickly picks up fights and has started using abusive words and is not focused yeah. in class. Now, how many of us have gone through this? This exactly. is such a real life scenario. Exactly. So you, you've created a real life scenario yeah. and tried to marry it with the Ayodhya Khan. So yeah. what's, the, what's the connection? Exactly. How, how does a parent who's dealing with perhaps separation syndrome, displacement yeah. syndrome, or bad or company of, or the bad company of yeah. kids. See, it can, a lot of things can trigger. Exactly. So res exactly. Resentment of having been uprooted yeah. can create from a point of insecurity, yeah. not yeah. knowing people, and yeah. then it's a behavioral thing. Yeah. So how does that connect with Ramayana and that to Ayodhya Khan? Ayodhya Khan. So Ayodhya Khan, uh, Ayodhya Khan starts with uh, Rama's exile. Mm. Uh, and R Rama is exiled along with, uh, and Lakshman and Sita also offer that we will also go. Bharat comes back and he sees a very dilapidated Ayodhya. He left a very happy Ayodhya. When he came back, Dashrath is dead. Uh, Ram, Lakshman, Sita is out and whole Ayodhya is mourning, hmm. right? On various things. But Rama is gone, Dashrath is dead, right? Hmm. And KK is trying to convince, no, no, I got it for you. You are hmm. the king now. He said, no, hmm. I don't want to appropriate anything which is not mine, it's a, which is not rightfully mine. And he said, I will go and search for Rama and I'll get him back. He's my eldest son. He loves me. And if he hears me, he'll, he, will, he will come back. Now he's going, he's going, they don't know where is he, but till Saryu they dropped him and after that they don't know, right? Mm. So he's uh, talking to various rishis, he's talking to Guha mm. and he's searching through the way, right? And he's going with the whole force, all the mothers, all the, all the rishis went through. And Lakshmana is watching all this is to happen, mm. right? Mm. And Lakshmana is saying and alarming Rama mm. that Bharat is coming to kill you, right? Mm. In the rishis who are giving the clue, they're also saying, they're also thinking that Bharat is going to kill. Even Guha thought Bharat is going to kill. Mm. Can you imagine? And Bharat was going with a very, 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 very yeah. good heart. Mm. So this is this is the effect uh, effect of a bad company mm. because people thought Bharat is a part of the caucus of KKI and Mantra. Mm. That what a what even with a good intention, if you roam around, if you are associated with a bad company, this can happen to you. So this story can very easily communicate, right? That don't hang around with bad people. Even even if you are good, your other behavior, your habits are good. You attend classes. Mm. You don't do anything hanky panky. But if you roam around with different kind of people, people will associate you. Like kis ke saath photo ke chata. Politics mein bilsi, right? Correct, correct. Like prime minister get pictured with some random person and say, oh my god, he was he was with him here and there, right? Something. Don't don't be with people who are who are identity you're not sure with. So mm. yeah. So, so, so that's where, that's but where. but in terms of uh, uh, understanding and having a moral compass and choosing between right and wrong, one yeah. of the examples, primary examples is Ram, yeah. okay, yeah. Maryada Purushottam. Yeah. But there are also others who needed motivation. Exactly. There are there are characters within the Ramayana who did not know their potential. Exactly. Hanuman. Hanuman. Yeah. So right. they needed a Jambavan there. Exactly. So you you you. Try to bring that out also. Exactly. In, in fact, uh, in you this have book, a chapter. I just realized in, so in motivation fact, can do wonders. Exactly. I've just come to that. Exactly. So what I'm also trying to do, I'm also trying to put these idioms and phrases, right? Let's say we use this term called yeah. Herculean effort. Huh. We don't even know who's Hercules. Is. Hercules. Lot of lot of people don't know the story. Yeah. So I'm also trying to point out people. Why don't you use Indian examples? Yeah. Whenever you want to motivate someone massively, you can say, Oh my God, he needs a jamun like motivation. Uh, jamun Otherwise, like, he's yeah. dead. Right? Or a bajrang bali like effort. Bajrang bali like effort, right? So we think we should because see mm. we use lot of lot of idioms but let's use more of indian idioms right uh -huh. so we all know uh, hanuman ji don't take skills. mantras advice don't take mantras <laughs> advice exactly I, I quoted that don't take mantras advice i was thinking bad advice i said mantras advice, mantras advice uh -huh. exactly uh -huh. so hanuman ji knew that Han hanuman ji had a lot of capabilities he has ashta siddhi uh -huh. as you say ashta siddhi non nidhi ke data, but he has forgotten it. Jan ki mata. exactly he has uh -huh. forgotten it because of some prank he played when he was a child uh, two rishi said you will only remember it when someone when you need it and someone will remember mind you hmm. and Jaman began that person when they have to jump that sea or cross that sea they needed someone the conversation was like 
they they uh, through sampati jatai's mm -hmm. brother they got that okay sita mata is there like mm -hmm. there means they they are this yeah. part of the sea but who will cross it mm -hmm. Angad is saying, I can go, but I cannot come I back. I won't have the energy to come back. To come yeah. back. Yeah. And Jamwant is being this old person. Oh my God, you kids, if I was young, yeah. I could have done I'm that. I'm too old, deal. otherwise I would otherwise, have done right? that. Yeah. Remember like the old people yeah. say, yeah. Tum bachche to khate nio, ghi ni khate ho, right? Yeah. Almost like that. And then he said, but Hanuman ji is saying, no, I'm not part of this conversation, right? Then he reminds him, right? That who are you, who, what you can do. Hmm. And then he like, he, he takes a swim, he flies, he jumps. And what he does, yeah. we all know that he comes back with a burning Lanka. Yeah. He was just sent for searching Mata Sita, but he gave a signal to the enemy that if one, one uh, yeah. uh, dude can do this much, if the Rama's whole army become, what will happen, right? Have, so, have you used Angad's conversation with Angad Rama? Conversation, Angad, not, not much of Angad's conversation. I, I did some, some part of it. But hmm. the interesting part is that, so I have not come to the youth country. Yeah, part, so that's I think the interesting part in Hanumanji is that he was just sent for one purpose, hmm. simple purpose that just find Mata Sita. Yeah. He does this meticulously. He does the I call it a change of password. Yeah. Like gives a ring so that validates his identity. Right. Takes a chura money for Mata Sita so yeah. and validates her identity back. Yeah. And then he picks up an artificial fight so hmm. that he wants to land in the court of Ravana so that he wants to see what Ravana is like, who are in the court. Then he realizes oh he he lands up there. He realizes oh they have dharmic characters there. There is Vibhishan there, right? And then he burns half of the Lanka, not one third of the Lanka. And in the mayhem of that smoke, he also finds out what are the weaponry, who are the high points, who are the low points, where will we camp. The person sent for one per one, one task, accomplished four or five tasks and four comes, back, comes right? back, right? So that's why I'm saying he's my Hanuman, right? Someone yeah. like a, is yeah. a, is an amazing employee, yeah. is a, he's my, uh, I, I can't call Hanumanji employee. Yeah. But I'm saying if someone colleague like that, who will not love? Her? And that's why whenever I do my workshops, Anand, I ask who's your favorite character, Instead of Sri Ram, people say Hanumanji. Hanuman so can you imagine a Bhakt is more more popular than the God Himself? Correct. I'm sure Ram Ramji will not even mind it, right? Oh, and a lot of people say Ramji is like a door to Sri Ram. So yeah, right? yeah, the, yeah. The Hanuman is a door to yeah, Sri sorry, Ram. Yeah, sorry, Hanumanji, Hanuman is a, Hanumanji is a, Bhakt is a door to Sri Ram. So and uh, this is something that uh, I don't know if it's part of the text, but it's mm -hmm. it's a conversation where Ram and Sita have it with Hanuman, and even mm -hmm. as Sita blesses him for being a Chiranjeevi. Chiranjeevi. That exactly. Chiv, you know, so Ram says that they will till the time. My name is taken, your name will your be name taken, taken and it will be taken more. Yeah. And people who take your name will find their way to me. Way to me. Exactly. So, so that is something which is uh, which is also and mentioned. Anand, you started your conversation in Ayodhya and the, and the temple opening. Till the time temple was not there, the place we everyone will visit is Hanuman Gadi. Hanuman right? Gadi. That's yeah. like the de facto yeah. big temple there yeah. till the time. Yeah. And still and people say go to Hanuman Gadi and then do yeah, Ramlala. Yeah, then, then, then do Ramlala. Ram Ram right? So the point so is like the that, that Ramlala Ram. won't see you till you don't see <laughs> Hanuman. The permission Japan of Hanumanji. Hanuman exactly. So now, so final question and yeah. uh, it's, it's interesting because it makes for a fun read. It's, uh, it's not very heavy on the this yeah. one. But do you want families to do this together? Or uh, are the dads going to see it, or the moms going to see it and pass it on to this? I mean, the idea is, you know, I, idea, and idea and is say, the uh, uh, ex exactly, exactly. The idea is uh, dad and mom maybe do a quick read and then bring out a lot of conversation. So if you see any exercise, I have written, let's say, discuss this in your family. What KK and Mantra did on the dinner table, on the breakfast. So I have given the kind of a prescription, like yeah. why don't you bring out this discussion? So a lot of people say, but then uh, does that apply to 10 year plus because your son, uh, you've, you've kept I think, I think it's a very oh. easy read. It's a very easy read. I, it's so not necessarily can, only teenagers. Exactly. They can yeah. also bring out this conversation. Yeah. And these conversation, and see, blasphemy is not a concept in Indian ethos, right? We can still challenge Sri Ram. We can still challenge Mata Sita. We can, at least for the conversation, so that something good will come out. So a lot of people yeah. say, let's say, why did he do what he did? Why did he do what he do? Yeah. What I would have done different, right? Yeah. What What if if KKI would not have sent Rama to jungle, uh, mm. or would Ramana would have been killed, right? So can you do a lot of this what ifs and permutation combinations? And a lot of good will come out, and a lot of beautiful conversation will come out. So I want to bring this conversation through this book, through uh, original these 25 case studies, and mm. people can build on these case studies. Mm. People can add more case studies to it. It's like a mm. work in progress. Right. So, so that's now, the idea. Now, as somebody who's not just a Ram Bhakt but a core UP person, uh, how important is this temple inauguration? How important is this a temple for Ram Lala? Because a lot of people would just say it's just another Ram temple. So exactly. what's the big exactly. deal about exactly. it? Exactly. So exactly. I think I'm sure Anand, you must have visited Ram Lala in the tent, right? I did multiple times whenever yeah. I went to Ayodhya. In fact, when I was doing my biography of Yogi Ji, I used to go to Gorakhpur very often, and a lot of people don't know where Ayodhya, right? In India, Correct. a lot of people don't know where Ayodhya is. Ayodhya. So if you you land in Lucknow, it's two two and a half, right? And in fact, I realized this first time where exactly Ayodhya is while going to Gorakhpur, huh. right? It's four hours and midway Ayodhya. I started going to Ayodhya. 
met a lot of scholars, went to the uh, tent temple, so to say, and the first time I felt enraged, right? Like in Ayodhya, in India, in Bharatvarsh, Ram is in a tent, we can't make a temple, we have to find a case for that. Uh -huh. uh, but the other thing is that people don't realize that this is the temple for Ram Lalla. Exactly, this yeah. is the only it's child not, form of Ram. It's not Siyavar Ram, yeah. it's not, it's not uh, like, it's the, a like the brain Yodha. macho Ram, ha, right? Ha, Ram. Yeah. This is baby Ram. Baby Ram. In his city, where is the place where he was exactly. born. Exactly. So, so that's why this temple is important it's because very, there can be only one Janbhumi and there can be uh, uh, baby Ram Lala. So, and economically also, uh, mm -hmm. Anand, right? Uh, Ayodhya was curtailed from this amazing religious economy. Yeah. Right? What Tripati is, what Shridi is, or what other 100 to 100 Indian religious tourist places are. And now, even without the temple being built, with the Choti Diwali, the Deepotsav itself, yeah. lot of media people are traveling, lot of other people are traveling, no, news are traveling along. And, Very and difficult to get a hotel there. Yeah, and, and it's great business for the and neighboring districts. So, district. so Aspas ke saath aad subay exactly. jo hai, 100 square kilometer they are, they are getting the Kripa of Lakshmi ji also now. <laughs> <laughs> Kripa of exactly. Lakshmi ji. Well, yeah. great, fantastic, uh, lovely. Thank your you. final Thank message you. to your viewers on this book. Uh, I wish you all the best. You've been yeah. on a writing spree. Every six months we end up talking about some book or the other that he's <laughs> doing. You, but but what's your message on this I book? I think my message is just think of, whenever you have any tragedy, any disappointment, think of life of Rama. Hmm. Rama was about to be the king the next day. He was exiled. It's like almost suicidal, right? Yeah. If I if I tell you, you are the CEO of this company and then you get a second letter, then no, no, no. Let's alone CEO, you're fired from the company. It's hmm. almost that, right? Okay, you're in the jungle. You don't know what to eat, where to stay. 13 years are passed somehow. You're learning every day from different goods. In 13th year, your wife got kidnapped. Then you are, uh, for your wife, you're raging the biggest war of your life. You're almost dead twice, right? In the hands mm. of Vibhishan. Yeah. Uh, in the hands of Bish, uh, Indrajit. Indrajit, right? yeah. So you lost your kingdom. You lost your wife. You lost your, almost lost your life. But and you are about to lose your brother also. You uh, lost uh, your brother. So, and you are not cheating a day. You're not cheating your vanvas dharma. You're not cheating your war dharma. You're doing every rules of the game. And still after thousands of years in CNN and IB and we are discussing around. <laughs> yeah. He's victorious. Yeah. So whenever you're disappointed, think of your tragedy or disappointment compared with Rama. Hmm. And I think Rama's story of perseverance of 14 years is the perseverance of a story of perseverance of India. After hmm. multiple invasions, we are the only living civilizations. Yeah. Rama taught the perseverance. We, st we, st we are still carrying. Yeah, but Ra Rama not just taught perseverance. He also said that if you need it, you got to go for it. And you if you need to, it. if you need to fight for it, you need to fight for it as, with all your as heart. As Narendra Modi not quoted, "Bhay bin hoye na preet." Ha, bhay bin hoye na preet. True, Shantru, fantastic you. speaking with you. you, and Thank I look you. forward to my family reading this book for sure. Thank and you very, solving very much. the crossword. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that I'm looking forward to with Thank my you. daughter and son. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.